Good evening. <laughs> Hi guys, it is Isabel here. What is up guys? Welcome back to Monday's video. Isabel is here and I'm having a midlife crisis. Ah! But it's fine. It is okay. No, it's not. Okay. I'm going through it, okay? I'm feeling really gross and really just... Ah! I'm just not doing well. I'm literally struggling. I'm stressing, I'm worrying, I'm going through it. So, before we do anything, I'm gonna take a shower because a clean body will help me have a clean mind. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're just laying in bed, get up, stand in the water if you have the ability to. It's gonna make you feel a lot better. So, that is what we're gonna do. All right. One thing about this shower. Water pressure is no bueno. It is not good. And I have a lot of dandruff. Ugh! That is one thing that I'm really struggling with. So I'm like, I'm like trying. I'm trying here, I'm trying. And that is why the shower water makes me so mad. It's so bad and I'm so stressed and I think I'm just making it worse. All right, roof over my head. I don't know where I am moving after I leave this apartment in three weeks, but it's fine. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out together, so I'm gonna shower. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we clean. <laughs> Just blowing my nose. Okay, so. thing that I'm struggling with I'm just gonna go through I'm just I'm just gonna go through and let it all out because why not <sighs> bring it to the universe so the universe can help me fix it okay my acne I have whiteheads my pores are terrible I keep getting acne on my forehead which I haven't gotten since I was in high school early on like junior year when I was hitting puberty but I'm hitting it I hit it I hit it already so why is it back stress maybe I need to put a t-shirt on so we don't have a nip slip. You know what I'm saying? Ah! I'm stuck! Let me out. I would put self tanner on, but I don't think that can help me because I'm going through it mentally, not physically currently, which is, in my opinion, a little bit worse because you can change the appearance. You can't change the brain that you're given, but it's fine. Acne, dandruff, another thing. I, oh my God, I... I just feel like I don't belong anywhere. I'm just not happy here. I wasn't happy when I left in Pennsylvania. I just feel like, oh my gosh, like I just don't fit in. Like it feels like high school. Like I feel like I just don't have a placement in this world. In, in a serious way, like not in a suicidal way, like I don't want to be here. I just feel like I am the miss, like the puzzle piece that just does not fit in to any puzzle that you're doing. Like you have this missing piece that you found on the ground. I literally feel like lost. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Yeah. So there's that. I don't feel like I'm doing as much as I can. You know what time it is, guys. We are inflicting pain. We are waxing the mustache, okay? Humor while we talk about something serious. Always. So we're just gonna wax our mustache. Self-care. Self-care and suffering. Oh wait, self-care and oh. Self-care and struggling. I feel like I'm not doing as much as I can. I feel like I'm not being productive during my days. But then also I'm like, what do I do to be productive? Like, what well, what do I do? I bet you can go get coffee and journal and everything, but like, I don't feel like that's helping me further what I need to do in life. But then again, I'm like, what am I doing in life? I just don't know. And also what's stressing me out is I'm leaving this apartment. I'm literally not gonna be living here anymore. Where the f am I gonna be living? So I'm homeless. I'm having an identity crisis. I have fucking dandruff. What the f Two, one. I can't do it. It's been so long. Three, two, one. Ah! Mother f Three, two, one. Ah! Oh my god, it's been so. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. I'm fine. Okay, next on the list. Friends. Where are they at? Hmm. Where are you at, friends? Actually, you don't need friends. Ugh, I've been struggling this with probably my whole life. I need to have girlfriends. I need to have this. I haven't need to have that. Hold on. When the answer has been in front of me all along, I am my own best friend. I enjoy being by myself the most in this world. So I keep trying to find friends and fit myself in these situations. So this one I kind of figured out. Um, it's always gonna be me. I'm always gonna be the person that I enjoy spending the most time with. Three, two, one. Oh! 
three, two, one. Oh my mother fricker. We're fine. So it's always gonna be me, and that's not a selfish thing. It's just I enjoy spending quality time with myself. Which, if that's the case, if that's how it's gonna be, I need to prioritize that and give that to myself so that I can grow friendship wise for me because that's important is knowing yourself very well and I feel like right now I don't know myself I don't know what I want I don't know what I like what I hate I just gotta I gotta figure that out and it's stressing me out which leads to the next topic fucking stress oh I think I'm done I think I'm done I'm done with this I felt too much pain whatever's left so be it I'm just using an oil wipe that it comes why do I look like this Oh my gosh. I'm just using an oil wipe that it comes with to relieve the pain. The best part though, call me weird. After you're done waxing your mustache is looking at all of the, the waxings and looking at your mustache here. Hold on, let me find a good one. Oh my god. <laughs> you're not ready. Yeah. Yeah. I get that from my ancestor, the homeo sapien. I am so mad right now. I could have sworn I had a face mask ready to go, ready to go. I was so excited. That is one reason why I wanted to film this video. I was gonna put a face mask on, put the hat. So what am I, I'm not supposed to look like this now for the video, this is not gonna help. This is, I'm struggling now, I'm really struggling. Okay, whatever. Since I don't have a face mask, I'm gonna put Aquaphor on my mustache. I'm also gonna put a little bit on my um, acne. But back to the friends thing, I'm so excited. I am visiting home on next week and i'm gonna see my best friend sabra she's my best friend in the whole entire world met her in high school ah she's my rock she's my little piece of home wherever i go we look great ah, another thing i'm struggling with guys i have to move out in my apartment it's just oh so messy but it's because i don't want to clean it up when i'm gonna be packing it away you know what i'm saying it doesn't make sense it doesn't add up i'm gonna just read my journal i wrote it all down because i was like you know what Get it out, release, get it out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I tend to struggle with letting people in. I don't like telling people my problems. I don't like letting people in to know important information. I kind of like to keep everything to myself. I like to keep private. I like to keep everything just only Isabel knows because then it's like, I don't know, like stay low key, stay mystery. But I also tend to overshare a lot and talk a lot. And I think that's where people think they know everything, but they, they really don't. They really don't. Literally my list. Number one, I feel like I don't belong anywhere. Number two, not doing as much as I can. Number three, <laughs> pre-diabetes. That mother is just biting me in the ass wherever I go. I have to go back to the doctors. Every every night now, I wake up in the middle of the night and I have to pee. And I think that's a very bad, bad thing when you're pre-diabetic because that, that kind of means you're leaning to diabetes, you know what I'm saying? I have to figure that out. And hopefully I don't have diabetes. Please keep me in your thoughts. It changes your whole life. It's just not fun. So I would like to avoid that. And I need to check up on my health. So I'm stressing about where I'm living, if I'm gonna be breathing, um, my identity, um, acne, everything. And of course, here and there, um, um, my weight comes in, you know, I, am I happy with the way I look? Am I happy? With, and you know, you don't hate yourself, you don't, but you don't love yourself. And so it comes hand in hand that I need to work on self-love. I need to come work on myself. And I'm not afraid to admit that. I just, I just don't know how to go about it. <laughs> it also comes into play when you're, where you're not supposed to be the one that knows all the answers. But I like to know all the answers. And no, I am not a control freak. I just am a like knowing everything kind of person. I don't want to control everything, but I, I don't like not knowing thing because then I worry, then I stress, then I freak out. I don't know the step ahead of me and it drives me crazy because I want to know the next three steps ahead of me. And right now I'm seven steps backwards with nothing, no answers, nothing. We're losing our mind. Do you want tea? I don't have tea. <laughs> I don't, I don't have tea. Um, I have water. Let's go get some water. We'll bring the journal, shall we? It's just so messy right now, but it's fine. I was doing TikTok brand deals a lot. I was, that was like my main source of income is um, TikTok. I was, how do you put it? I was doing a lot of ads on my main account and I know that I was doing a lot of ads, but like I have rent to pay. I have to do with things. And so I did them. But it comes a point where you're, you're losing the relationship and your audience for money. And so now 
I'm kind of drawing the line and I'm like money's not worth it those cheesy ads aren't worth it when I know that they they are they are marketing to you because I know that they're not marketing to you because the brands won't let me market them to you the way that I want and when they don't let you have kind of creative freedom it ruins it it's just not worth it so I'm done with TikTok ads so that means there's no money <laughs> so my main source of income now is YouTube ad revenue so if you could watch the ads self promo that would be great you know what I'm saying that would be great please watch the ads so I kind of have just cash coming in from previous deals I have savings and I have YouTube so subscribing watching the ads it really helps out more than you think also guys I don't have a manager all along all along I'm like okay as well you need to get to LA you need to have a manager you 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 need to be this influencer da 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 and I'm like you're not gonna change you're not gonna change in a way I haven't changed I've only retained information that's very important kind of like I feel like I did a semester of college right now in LA Olivia Ponton made a video a long time ago and she was like pause before I even say the video you guys made so much fun of her but it is true every content house is literally like a fraternity literally like a sorority we all the influencers that live together it babes it's literally just like living in a college dorm with roommates you learn so much every day as an influencer i've learned how to do so much paperwork so much editing so much internet stuff that you probably learn at a marketing job or a nine to five job that you could sit out like i feel like i have enough information that like, this doesn't work out i'm good and i'm good to go i am qualified i got no tattoos i'm ready to go for that office job if I have to go to that job, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just, I just wanna be a normal girl who records her life. I don't wanna be an influencer, okay? I want to be a friend. I wanna have a, rela a relationship with you guys. I want you to know that you're not alone. Somebody out there that you can relate to. Not someone who's gonna sell you f***ing sheen clothes. I had my sheen face. Yes, I bought stuff from there, but I'm done with it. I'm over it. And I'm not gonna promote it to you for a bag. Bye. I don't want to do the same deals that everyone does. I don't want to work with the same people that everyone does. Oh my god. Am I actually starting? Oh my god, guys. In the beginning of the video, I didn't know where I wanted to be. And now I'm actually answering my own questions of what I want to do. Wow. Wow. Rip out your camera. Rip out your MacBook studio booth. Rip it out. Talk to yourself. I'm fine with all the answers. And I'm just talking to myself right now. I'm talking to you, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the only one physically here. I feel a lot better. I think I got it all out of my system and I'm ready for the next step. I just don't know where I want to live though. But all I know is I am leaving this apartment. Stay tuned for a pack with me. Stay tuned for a vlog back home. And as always, stay yourself, be authentic, be you always, and have a great day. I hope you kind of talking about what I'm going through, you could kind of relate to and know that you are not alone in any of this, in this life, in this world, on your journey. We're gonna figure it out together. And when I figure it out, you'll figure it out. I'm slipping back, I'm falling. I love you guys, and I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video. But I will be back home, so stay tuned, stay ready. I love you guys so much. You have no idea. Bye.